HMS Illustrious has set sail for a major amphibious exercise in the Mediterranean. The Navy stressed her deployment as part of the new Response Task Force Group is not a reaction to the war in Syria nor the diplomatic tensions surrounding Iran. Rosie Layden has spent the day in Portsmouth. As the rain poured down, Seeking Mark IV helicopters landed on board HMS Illustrious this morning. Their primary role on the exercise will be to provide lift for Royal Marine Commandos rehearsing amphibious landings. It's been a while since the Marines have stormed the beaches in anger, but it's still a capability that's seen to be important. Well, it's, it's the sort of capability that is incredibly flexible. On the one end, you can do uh, full fighting operations in a broad coalition. Uh, and on the other end of the spectrum, the same capabilities allow you to do um, humanitarian assistance as well. So, uh, yes, we train high-end, but that allows us to do a whole deal more. 3,000 sailors, soldiers and Royal Marines and 12 Royal Navy warships are deploying as part of Exercise Cougar 12. As they sail out to the Mediterranean, they'll be joined by their French and Albanian counterparts. But the Royal Navy insists this show of strength is a long-planned annual exercise and not a response to rising tensions in the Gulf. Last year, HMS Ocean led the response task force group and a routine deployment turned into Operation Elemy and seven months of naval support for NATO operations off the coast of Libya. There's always been some degree of tension or other that you can use in order to align your training, give it more realism. Uh, I don't see this year being any different to others, but yes, there's a lot going on. Uh, and yes, we are focused, should we be called upon to take part in any operation, then my job is to make sure we're ready for that. We've been training since the ship was brought out of refit and Recife, and for the last almost two years we've done everything we can to get the ship as ready as possible, and I think we're there. So, with every contingency set, I think if there is something that goes amiss, we'll be able to deal with it. These Merlin helicopters provide anti-submarine and surface patrol capability up to 200 miles around the ship, and once she's at sea, the carrier will also take on board Apache attack helicopters and Chinooks. With the French Charles de Gaulle carrier group, it'll be an impressive lineup for a training exercise and, of course, a formidable alliance if the flotilla was to be diverted to operations. Rosie Layden, Forces News in Portsmouth.